John Forbes Carey reporting my life as a pile of duty. What a crappy month. My 2004 Hummer breaks down. I lose the presidential election to Sponge George Bush pants. And to top it all off, I look like Herman Munster and sound like him too. Check this out. Lily, where's Grandpa and Eddie? Oh, 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 oh. oh please. You think you sound bad? I sound worse than uh, how you say, uh, hello. Ashley Simpson singing live. If you are blue, if you are sad, if you're depressed, upset, or unbelievably mad, you get a big lift when you're talking with the depressed Persian tow truck man who's seated next to not only the biggest loser in the world, but the dullest one as well. Hillary Clinton, if you're watching this, start losing some weight and do something with your ratty hair because you're up next in 2008. And P.S. Your daughter had too much plastic surgery and I don't even recognize her. That's a good thing. Anyway, we're a little off point here. Now back to the tow truck. I still can't believe I lost the election. I was leading according to the exit polls. I have an exit poll myself. It's my, uh, hello. <laughs> when your wife is as ugly as mine is, your poll is always exiting. Never enter it. Always. Never. Always. <laughs> my wife is a billionaire with a foul mouth. My wife is the same, except take away the money and cover her back in blackheads. Speaking of blackheads, why didn't the Negroes vote for me? They're always so angry. Oh, please, you have not seen an angry Negro until you accidentally scratch his Escalade while towing his car away from the vibe awards. You know why I think this country didn't vote for me? I think they were afraid of me. Please, you want to see fear? Try getting on an airplane as a Persian man with your lucky pair of toenail clippers. <laughs> I wish I was back in Vietnam. My men respected me and the whores were cheap. If you miss Vietnam so much, you should come back to my apartment in Glendale. There's a war going on there that you cannot win either. Plus, we even have a very stinky, smelly swamp. Of course, I'm talking about my wife's... Uh... I don't know what to do with myself now. I have no employable skills. At least John Edwards can do commercials for Pantene Shampoo. What are you talking about? You have a skill. You are boring. You are more boring than, uh, how you say, hello, Clay Aiken's Christmas album. Ah, 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 ah. I appreciate your hairy candor, Mofaz. You remind me of another Mo that I met in Reading, Pennsylvania. His name wasn't Mofaz, he was a Mo. He and his lover, Derek, were both coal miners. They didn't have health insurance, but they sure had style. Not like the lesbians. The Moes know what to do, how to decorate. Did you know Dick Cheney had a lesbian daughter? Feel sad, you don't feel depressed, upset, or even slightly bad. Cause you had a chat with an even sadder cat, the depressed Persian tow truck man who just drove off a cliff with John Kerry, and they both will probably die in a fiery inferno. But hey, that's two problems solved. Eventually, Mo and Derek redecorated their dining room. It was exquisite. I had a lot of fun at their smart dinner party. Shut the hell up! I wish John Kerry had won the election. That would have yeah, yeah. given me a chance to do it. This is fake. I don't have a hair chest.